Good morning, Dream Team. Welcome to Home Body Weight Workout number 1108. Today is Wednesday, the 11th of September. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're ready for a Home Body Weight Workout. This is how we do it. We get up, we get moving. We wake up our muscles, add some cardio, do some walking and get a nice high step count. Aiming for 15,000 or 20,000 steps plus this body weight really, really works. I'm gradually toning back up again after a little bit of injury this year and feeling really happy to get back to normal fitness. Really nice feeling. Good morning, Terrific Thomas. Fist bump for you. Hope you're doing well, champ. I've got the marathon this Sunday, which is great. Really looking forward to that. Um, and I'm actually looking forward to getting a suntan back. I feel like I'm really pasty at the moment, so it'll be nice to get a bit of a suntan as well. All right, team. Wednesday workout. So, we're gonna go jumping jacks, lunges, side plank, plank builds, diamond push-ups, horse stance wall sit, abs, bicycles, half, burpees, and child pose. Hope that sounds good to you. My mantra is, if you're moving, you're winning. Talking a lot about mantras today and affirmations and how the things we say to ourselves can create really positive outcomes. So if you're saying things to yourself that empower you, that's gonna set you up for success. So be very careful what you say to yourself. Um, if you say things to yourself that beat you up, then obviously you're not gonna get very good results and you're gonna feel a bit uncomfortable in your skin. So, learning to say good things to ourselves, some might call it parenting yourself, um, or being a cheerleader for yourself, really important skill to practice. How good can you get at lifting yourself up and saying encouraging things to yourself? Parenting yourself through the tough spots. All right guys, jumping jacks to start. Moving and grooving. Let's go. Three, two, one. On the spot. Jumping jacks. It looks so easy, but it's so important to just do it. Being action focused instead of analyzing and comparing and judging and counting. Getting out of that scientist headspace into a more productive, happy, hippie headspace. 30 seconds. Well done, everyone. If you're moving, you're winning. Lifting yourself up. Practicing that skill of saying good things to yourself and doing good things for yourself. Well done, team. From jumping jacks, we're going lunges. So standing towards the back of your mat, five each leg. Getting your back knee lightly touching the ground, keeping your chest up. Let's go. One, two, three, Four, and five, other leg, other side. One, two, three, four, and five. Swapping legs, 30 seconds, let's go. One, two, three, four, and five, other leg, other side. One, two, three, four, and last one, five. Awesome stuff, guys. Well done. From lunges, we're down on the mat for side planks. So getting your arm perpendicular to the ground, using your fingers to support you, making those fingers nice and strong, reaching up with your top hand, pushing that top hip up, 
fingertips clawing into your mat to get more balance and lift that top leg nice and high and our pulse one two three four five six seven eight nine and last one ten other side same thing hand pressing down balancing the blade as your foot pushing your top hip up lift that top leg and pulse one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten well done team from side planks we're going plank builds so alternating elbows and hands in a plank position let's go so important to remember that you were born to move that is your purpose that is what your body is designed for this is what your body your muscles your head your lungs were all built specifically for to move And it's only when we move with consistency on a daily basis that this becomes super clear. We were born to move. It feels so good to move with consistency and to feel your body getting stronger. And that's proof. We were born to move. Diamond push-ups next. Were we born for diamond push-ups? I don't know. Probably not, but they're good for us. Thumb and index finger together. Make a diamond on your mat. Fingertips pressing down. Get the top of your chest, touching the top of your hands. Compressing your chest a little bit at the top of the push-up. Core engaged. Strong but relaxed. Thirty seconds. You should feel those obliques in your side core working for you. Try and put some of your weight down in your legs instead of all in your chest by pushing your heels back a little bit. And then core goes nice and tight as you push the ground away. Well done team. Good diamond push-ups. Standing up for a horse stance, also known as a low squat or a martial arts squat. So on your invisible horse, Sitting nice and low. Let's put our arms out to the side today. Suck that belly button in. And sit a little bit lower. Fitness is gradually coming back week to week, which is really encouraging for me. Saw some old videos of myself doing these workouts. Even 100 workouts ago, I was much leaner. But actually, sometimes it's about your body and your muscles and strength. And sometimes it's just for your head. So I'm enjoying this journey back to peak fitness. Proud of myself. Well done, team. So the reward for me at the moment is watching that gradual, consistent progress. I know what to do, I've done it a hundred times before. But it's really encouraging to see that I can still fight back 
and I can still find those old skills of patience and gratitude and trusting the process. It's easy to trust the process when your fitness is really high, but when it inevitably goes a bit low and you have to fight your way back, it's nice to rediscover those intangible skills. <sighs> Sucking your belly button in, work those deep core muscles. No one's gonna do it for you. You have to do it for yourself. <sighs> Pushing your toes down. <sighs> belly button sucked in. Well done team. Good wall sits. From wall sit, we're going abs, bicycles. So always leaving our abs right to the end after our deep core muscles. So laying on your mat, hands in your temples. And we're going opposite elbow to opposite knee. Cross your body. Make sure your elbow is touching your knee so you get the full benefit from this movement. Twisting that torso. And then the opposite leg is kicking out straight. The way that these exercises become easy is just simply through repetition. Part of the reason that I number these workouts is because I know once I've done a thousand, I've got a certain level of fitness and then 1100, 1200, 1500, 2000. These are all new levels of fitness and resilience. And it's great to have those incremental improvements every 100 workouts or 50 workouts. All right, half burpees, my frenemies. Legs out, knees in. Fingertips pushing down. Trusting the process. Be patient. Thirty seconds. Well done team, good half burpees. They are so good for us. Finishing with a child pose, big toes together, knees nice and wide. Sit on your heels first, reaching up, then melting forward, taking your forehead to the earth. Grateful for the ability to show up for yourself. And proud of yourself for completing this workout. Well done, Dream Team. Excellent Wednesday workout. Number 1108 complete. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope that felt good. It's interesting, isn't it? These workouts definitely work. They give you great results. And although you'll fluctuate from time to time, there'll be holidays. 
There'll be work trips, there'll be family commitments. There might even be times when you just can't do these workouts. But as you fluctuate, as you go through those different cycles, trust the process. So many people just avoid these workouts, but they still want the results of them. And it's, it's simple, look, if you do this stuff, your body will be stronger, your metabolism will be higher, you win the races, you have a better ability to hold yourself up and be nice and tall, improve your posture. It really works, it really, really does. And I've felt so many benefits from doing this stuff. I hope you do too. Have a great Wednesday, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day and tune in for our next home body weight workout. You can play this anytime that suits you. And uh, yeah, let's keep going, let's keep moving. 1200, here we come. Take care, guys.